the secretary of the school came down to our cafeteria, which is detached from our school, and uh, told me that the neighbor had called and said she didn't want to alarm me, but she had thought that she heard a scream coming from the house. That was a terrible moment and just an instant panic came across me. I guess I just call it motherly instinct, but I knew something bad was wrong. New evidence tonight in the disappearance of Holly Bobo. We've learned there were 20 sex offenders at the same event Holly attended days before she disappeared. Action News 5's Janice Proach is here now with new details. Janice. Holly Bobo disappeared more than two years ago. Her mother has teamed up with a group that is putting together as many clues as possible to find out what happened to Holly. I just started begging them to, um, to put out roadblocks. And um, I still to this day do not understand why there were no roadblocks put out. Karen Bobo wanted the area around her house locked down so no one could get out the day her 21-year-old daughter, Holly, disappeared more than two years ago from the family home in Darden. She feels the two hours lost before more investigators showed up were crucial. Karen, a teacher, was at school when she got the call from a neighbor that a scream was heard coming from her home. I wasn't just some crazy person saying, you know, something has happened to my daughter and I, I just um, I just wish they had listened. A panic Karen Boba, her family and friends ran through the woods behind the house looking for Holly. She fears they may have destroyed evidence. And looking back, we shouldn't have ran through the woods. We shouldn't have gone through the house, but you know, we did. The Bobo family and a group they have teamed up with have discovered that there were more than 20 sex offenders at a coon hunting dinner that Holly also attended. It was just days before she disappeared. There were also plenty of strangers in the area hunting coon, and it was turkey hunting season. I mean, obviously we're at two years and they haven't found Holly. Now, there is a hefty reward in the Holly Bobo case, a quarter of a million dollars. If you know anything, call 1-800-TBI-FIND. In the studio, Janice Broach, Action News 5. Most people were still trying to hold on to the hope that she would still be found alive. Breaking news, a tragic end to the search for Holly Bobo tonight. We know this man you're about to see, Zachary Adams, has been indicted on charges of murder and kidnapping. It is a heartbreaking break in the case. Family and friends waited nearly three long years for. Good evening, I'm Joe Birch. I'm Ursula Madden. As we learned today, the suspect lived just a few miles from the Bobo family home. Holly lived with her family in Darden, Tennessee, roughly 12 miles away from Zachary Adams' home, where he was arrested last Friday. That's where Action News 5's Janice Broach is live with new reaction for for those who loved and searched for Holly. Janice? Well, investigators called a news conference for 4 o'clock this afternoon here in Decatur County. We knew it involved a grand jury indictment. We knew it involved the Holly Bobo case. Investigators revealed devastating information for the friends and family of Holly Bobo. It was just unbelief. Even though you heard those words, first degree murder. Not what friends in the family of Holly Bobo wanted to hear. Actually, I was expecting to hear something else that prolonged the investigation, something else that, you know, hindered it, no real information. And when they said that, I was just in shock. Those friends at the news conference gasped at the announcement. The Decatur County Grand Jury handed down indictment of especially aggravated kidnapping and first degree felony murder on Zachary Rye Adams. Nobody wanted to think that. No one wanted to think that. TBI investigators revealed Holly Bobo was forcefully taken from her home almost three years ago. On Friday, investigators began a second search of Zach Adams' property about 12 miles from the Bobo home. Adams was arrested on Friday, charged with aggravated assault in a case not related to Holly's disappearance. Holly Bobo's family never gave up hope trying to find her with many massive searches, hoping to find the missing nursing student. Holly Bobo was 20 years old when she disappeared. She had a boyfriend and sang in her church choir 
everyone seemed to love her. It's been very hard on the family. It's just been torturous for the three years. Now, Holly Bobo's brother was the last person to see her being led away from the family home. Clint Bobo said he thought she was just leaving with her boyfriend. Now, Zach Adams is being held in the Chester County Jail. He has a court hearing next week. Live in Decatur County, Janice Broach, Action News 5. While Holly Bobo's family is understandably grieving in private tonight, we have heard from her cousin via Twitter. Country music singer Whitney Duncan sent this message, quote, words can't describe the heartbreak. Thank you for the prayers, end quote. Tonight, more questions than answers in this investigation. Investigators were tight-lipped at a news briefing today. The charges were presented to family and friends and the media, as well as any information investigators felt they could share. Because the investigation's ongoing, nothing was released about the circumstances of Holly's disappearance and apparent death. We believe we can prove that she was taken forcefully from her home without her consent. Based upon the evidence that we have, uh, before us, we also feel that uh, she was killed in the perpetration of that kidnapping. TBI Director Mark Gwynn added, if evidence leads to the need for more arrests, they will take action. We're digging into Zachary Adams' past tonight, his criminal activity dating back years. In 2004, he was charged with domestic assault. Over the years, he faced several drug charges. In 2011, he was charged with assaulting a police officer and then again charged with domestic assault and theft of over $500 in 2012. Up until Friday, when he was charged with aggravated assault and today's charges of aggravated kidnapping and first-degree murder. Adams' mother released a statement earlier this week before he was indicted saying, quote, we want Holly Bobo found, but do not want a witch hunt in doing so. To my knowledge, my son and Holly Bobo never were in the same circles. Being a drug addict does not make someone a kidnapper, end quote. You can find the complete list of Zachary Adams' criminal history as well as a timeline of the Holly Bobo investigation and today's news conference in full on our website. Just click on WMCTV.com and stay with Action News 5 for your most complete coverage of this breaking story. Breaking news update, two new arrests in the Holly Bobo murder case today. One of those men faced a judge. WMC Action News 5's Ursula Madden is live in the Breaking News Center with the latest. Ursula? Well, Pam, TBI investigators say brothers Mark and Jeffrey Piercy are charged with tampering with evidence and accessory after the fact. This is Mark Piercy. Take a look at his picture. According to Jackson TV station WBBJ, he is behind bars in Carroll County. He is registered as a sex offender with statutory rape conviction back in 2000. According to his attorney, Jeffrey Piercy was asked if he was forwarded or emailed a video of Holly Bobo. The attorney says his client has never seen a video of Holly Bobo. We don't know what, if any, connection these brothers may have to Zach Adams or Jason Autry, the men charged with kidnapping and killing Holly Bobo, who disappeared from her Decatur County home back in April of 2011. Jeffrey Piercy is in jail in Henderson County. He was in court this morning. His bond was set at $25,000. We will continue to follow this story and bring you any developments as we get them. Reporting live the breaking news center ursula madden wmc action news five watching wmc action news five at ten developing now continued efforts to find the remains of west tennessee nursing student holly bobo this is new aerial video of the search area in decatur county tennessee it's the same area where bobo's skull was discovered this weekend three years after her disappearance. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach has details on how the community is healing and what's ahead in the investigation. A grueling few days for Holly Bobo's family after her skull was found and investigators searched for more of the 20-year-old's remains. I just, you know, I think it's just a sad thing, you know. It, you know, not for just one side of that family, you know, but everybody's family. Holly Bobo's family stood silent at a news conference, letting their attorney speak on their behalf 
about their anguish, a family that must endure the current search for the rest of the nursing student's remains. Her skull was discovered Sunday in this wooded area. Investigators have brought in the renowned forensics team from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. They are helping in the search for the rest of Holly Bobo's remains. Decatur County Sheriff Keith Bird says the search will go on as long as it takes. Zach Adams and Jason Autry are both charged in the kidnapping and murder of Holly Bobo. Investigators say more arrests are expected because they believe more people are involved in the kidnapping and murder of Holly Bobo, but they won't say why they believe that. Janice Broach, WMC Action News 5. We have a full interactive timeline on all the developments in this tragic story from Holly's disappearance in 2011 to this week's discovery of her skull. You can see our extensive coverage now on WMCActionNews5.com. I know that my daughter fought and fought hard for her life. It took six long years, but Karen Bobo says she finally has justice for her daughter. Good evening, Zach Adams, the man convicted of kidnapping, raping and killing Holly Bobo six and a half years ago, will now spend the rest of his life behind bars without the possibility of parole. New Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains why her family says they can now begin to put this long nightmare behind them. After six and a half years, the Bobo family says they finally have justice for their little girl. It's been a long time coming, but justice prevailed. The defendant will be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. It was the uncertainty of one man's future left in the hands of 12 jurors. But Saturday morning, the Bobo family was involved in that decision. That this decision that was made this morning had absolutely nothing to do with that animal, it had to do with the future of our family. The death sentence was taken off the table for 33-year-old Zach Adams after attorneys agreed on life in prison. Adams now forced to listen to the mother's life. He had torn apart. Not a morning since this has happened have we not woken up with Holly being the first thing on her mind when we wake up and the last thing on her mind when we go to sleep. And Karen Bobo wanted to make sure Adams heard everything she had to say. But I would like for Mr. Adams to look at me when I speak to him. I know that my daughter fought and fought hard for her life. Family dinners are no longer the same when there's an empty chair at the table and life behind bars won't bring Holly Bobo back. But six and a half years of fighting has finally paid off. Now the Bobo family is getting their first taste of justice. But in the end, truth dominated all of that. And the Bobos were able to sit here today and make the decision themselves there are still two more defendants in this case. There will be a status hearing on November 14th. For now in Savannah, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. What's next for the state's star witness in the Holly Bobo murder case? Jason Autry is charged, but he, he helped to send the two other defendants, brother Zach and Dylan Adams, to prison. Now, some believe Autry, who is still jailed awaiting trial, will get a sweetheart deal. In this exclusive report, News Channel 5's Nick Barris learned that may happen. It's been 10 months now since the jury convicted Zach Adams of kidnapping, raping, and murdering Holly Bobo. He's now serving life in prison, and there's no debate. Jason Autry put him there. You, you remember Autry. What was your plan of disposing of Holly's body? to gutter. Autry is a co-defendant. He was charged along with Zach and his brother Dylan Adams in the Bobo case. But last September, Autry turned state's evidence to testify against Zach Adams. That's the way the game is played. You have a case that's circumstantial with some physical evidence, but you need someone to tell the story. And so he was important. He had to tell the story. And so that's why he was valuable. 
how valuable he was. We'll find out when they cut his plea deal. I did not kidnap, I did not rape, and I did not kill Miss Bobo. And I did not, but I lied and said that I didn't have no details to. At trial, Autry admitted to trying to help Adams dispose of Bobo's body. I grabbed the upper torso of Miss Bobo. Jack come around, let the tailgate down. I brought the upper torso to the end of the tailgate. It was chilling testimony that sealed Adams' conviction and a life sentence. A few months later, his brother Dylan pleaded guilty to facilitation. That's 35 years. Autry's been jailed now for more than five years, awaiting a trial that likely won't happen. What's in store for him? Well, obviously a sweetheart deal would be probation. Counting time served. It could happen, but legal expert Jim Todd says prosecutors are in no hurry to resolve the case against their ace witness, and here's why. The state is concerned that if the case is reversed, and in my opinion there's a strong likelihood of that, that they'll need him again. Zach Adams' attorney Jennifer Thompson has filed a notice of appeal, and she plans to cite several issues, alleged mistakes, arguing for a new trial. So Autry could remain locked up until the appeals court ruled at least a couple more years. We'll see. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. We will indeed. For now, Jason Autry remains incarcerated without bond in the Riverbend Maximum Security Prison. Three convicted Zach Adams of killing Holly Bobo. Not long after that, his brother pled guilty. But now, one full year later, the case remains open. Jason Autry, the third defendant and the state's star witness, still awaits his fate. Tonight, News Channel 5's Nick Barris with exclusive details on how and when this case will finally close. It really is stunning. Seven years after the murder of Holly Bobo, one of the accused, yes, is still awaiting trial. Either that or more likely a plea deal that sets him free years earlier than many might have expected. You remember Jason Autry. What was your plan of disposing of Holly's body? Mr. Gutter. Autry is a co-defendant. He was charged along with Zach and his brother Dylan Adams in the Bobo case. It was one year ago that Autry turned state's evidence to testify against Zach Adams. That's the way the game is played. You have a case that's circumstantial with some physical evidence, but you need someone to tell the story. And so he was important. He had to tell the story. And so that's why he was valuable. How valuable he was, we'll find out when they cut his plea deal. At trial, Autry admitted to trying to help Adams dispose of Bobo's body. I grabbed the upper torso of Miss Bobo. Jack come around, let the tailgate down. I brought the upper torso to the end of the tailgate. It was chilling testimony that sealed Adams' conviction and a life sentence. But now, one year later, Autry is still sitting in Riverbend Maximum Security Prison waiting. The case is stalled. Why? Because as the state is concerned that if the case is reversed, and in my opinion there's a strong likelihood of that, that they'll need him again. That's right. Legal expert Jim Todd thinks Adams could get a new trial on appeal. And Adams' attorney, Jennifer Thompson, says she is still waiting on the transcripts from the trial so she can formally file her appeals on the case. So, in a nutshell, what does this all mean? Well, no one knows if an appeal will actually be granted, but Autry, who many once thought might get a sweetheart deal, needs to start getting comfortable behind bars. Even a year later, it doesn't look like he'll be getting out anytime soon. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. So Zach Adams is currently serving life in prison. His brother Dylan pled guilty to facilitation and is serving 35 years. Is it possible? Will the man convicted of killing Holly Bobo get a second day in court? Tonight, exclusive new developments on the status of Zach Adams' appeal. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, there is a very real possibility he could get a new trial. You know, it happens with all life sentences, like the one that Zach Adams received. The defense always appeals. Very rarely do those appeals go anywhere. But in the Holly Bobo case, I'm told there are some significant issues for the appellate court to explore. It would be malpractice to not appeal 
uh, a case where somebody gets life in prison without the possibility of parole. And Zach Adams attorney Jennifer Thompson now says nearly two years later, that is exactly what she is doing. It's standard attorney procedure. A jury found her client Adams guilty of first degree murder in the high profile Holly Bobo trial in 2017. The case against him was almost entirely circumstantial and hinged heavily on the testimony of co-defendant Jason Autry. In chilling testimony at trial, he told the jury Adams killed Bobo and Autry admitted he tried to help dispose of her body. I grabbed the upper torso of Miss Bobo. Jack come around, let the tailgate down. I brought the upper torso to the end of the tailgate. Many believe Autry cut a plea deal for his testimony, but he is still locked up. Why? Well, legal expert Jim Todd says there's a reason prosecutors are in no hurry to resolve the case against their ace witness. The state is concerned that if the case is reversed, and in my opinion, there's a strong likelihood of that, that they'll need him again. So what are the grounds for a new trial? Todd believes there were clear instances of improper testimony that the jury never should have heard. For instance, testimony linking Adams to prior bad acts like drug use and past arrests. The appellate court may well determine such testimony tainted the jury verdict. The bottom line, the Bobo case is far from closed. No, that case is not over. They're still planning on the appeal. That appeal could be filed before the end of the summer. The defense is simply waiting right now for the court to approve the full transcripts of all testimony, testimony that will be used to make the case for the defense. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thank you, Nick. Once the appeal is filed, it will take several months for the appellate court to respond. If a new trial is granted, it likely would not come before sometime late next year. New developments tonight in the high-profile Holly Bobo murder case. The third and final defendant accused of murdering her has served his time. But Jason Autry will not be getting out of prison. He remains in limbo, waiting to see if a plea deal will set him free. So what does all this mean? News Channel 5's Nick Barris is in the Five Alert Center with exclusive details. People forget that before his arrest in the Bobo case, Jason Autry was already in prison on a federal gun charge. Well, I have learned that his eight year sentence is up, but Autry still is not going anywhere, at least not yet. He's still charged in connection with the Holly Bobo case, but not convicted. No, sir. By no means, I'm not killed. By no means, Nick, did I bother that girl. Well, now we know that Autry appears to have lied to me during an exclusive interview after his arrest four years ago. He later testified at trial and helped convict Zach Adams of murdering Bobo. Adams' brother Dylan also went to prison. Autry admitted he helped Zach dispose of Bobo's body. I grabbed the upper torso of Miss Bobo. Zach come around, let the tailgate down. I brought the upper torso to the end of the tailgate. So Autry's served his federal time but remains locked up without bond, still awaiting his state trial. It won't happen. We know he brokered a plea deal for his testimony, but before any release, there's the matter of Zach Adams' appeal. It would be malpractice to not appeal uh, a case where somebody gets life in prison without the possibility of parole. That's exactly what Adams' attorney will now do. What's been the delay? News Channel 5 has learned transcripts of the entire trial are only just now finally complete. That sets the stage for an appeal. How the appellate court knows what occurred in the trial court is the fact that they get transcripts of everything that is said. Every and legal analyst Nick judge. Leonardo, who is part of our gavel to gavel coverage of the trial, says there are issues for Adams' attorney to argue. But it may not be until late next year that the three appellate court judges finally do hear that appeal. In the meantime, it looks like Autry will remain locked up. Prosecutors don't want to set him free until they know whether or not a new trial will be ordered. 
We have local in Tennessee for Holly Bobo. The nursing student's murder captivated the country when she disappeared in Decatur County, and that's where a portion of Highway 641 in Decaturville is being renamed and dedicated in her honor. Bobo was last seen in 2011. The memorial comes five years after investigators made their first major break in the case, finding some of her remains in the woods near her home. Two brothers who maintained their innocence were convicted last year.